How's it going everybody? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot guys. Welcome here to my channel and to your daily tarot card reading. Uh, this one is going to be for Sunday, May 23rd and the deck I'm using for you guys is the Good Tarot and I am using the Sunday reads to see what kind of abundance is available to you or if there's any sort of tips and tricks for abundance to increase and manifest at a higher rate of speed. Um, so we'll look at that for the collective energy. All zodiac signs, I'm pretty sure I said that, but couldn't hurt to say it twice. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for being here. I love your comments. Um, you know, anyway, you know, sometimes my intros are so good and then sometimes I'm like kind of like a bump on a log, you know, so I'm feeling like I'm in bump in a log mode. So we'll just keep on going here and let my spirit guides take over. Um, so let's see. Sunday, May 23rd, what could possibly be going on? So you have the four of air here. <clears throat> so I'm getting the words, it's already yours. So a lot of people might think, I'm just writing that down, might th think that that's a kind of a beaten up old phrase. You know, it's like, ugh, not that old chestnut again. But you've got the four of air here. So can you relax and understand that it's already yours, you know? And she seems very sure of herself, you know? She's not really going into a deep meditative state that you see in a lot of the cards or the Four of Swords, you know, or their one deck I have the person is underground. That must be the Deviant Moon because that's such a weird one. You know, <clears throat> everybody's just chilled out, relaxed, you know? So this takes a tremendous self-assurance in your own ability to manifest and that the universe has your back or if you want to say God or source or whatever works for you. Um, so you are being compelled to relax. It's already yours. And I'm aware that saying relax to a person that does not naturally relax just has kind of the opposite effect. So... You might want to check out new relaxation um, techniques or strategies for yourself of what you're doing is not currently working. Um, you know, you don't have to go and buy a gong and wind chimes and sage, you know, and take up Tai Chi for three hours a day to relax. Like, what, what really relaxes you? Is it a craft or walking? cooking you know it can be something creative it doesn't mean that you have to go into an ohm chant for three hours what relaxes you it, you know that's what is going to work for you it should be something that while you're doing it you have zero track of time anymore so whatever that looks like for you so you can just calm down and let the universe do its job so that you're not trying to basically take the steering wheel i don't trust you universe like this isn't going fast enough and hey let's see you know punch on the gas there's there's something getting in the way so find your hobby find your passion like if it's dancing or singing or whatnot so um sometimes the cards it's like i can sense them before they they come out because i was saying find your passion okay so here is the king of fire and this guy is all about action and moving forward. And in this card, he actually has his heart in his hand. So sometimes your passion walks outside of yourself. It could represent itself in the sense of your friends, your family, um, you know, your children. Or you could be looking for something to do a little bit more volunteer based, giving back to the community. But your passion is at the forefront. And your passion will be ignited when you're doing things that um, relax you. You won't worry about what the universe is doing anymore. The universe is in charge anyway. We can ask for things and they'll happen. But the universe has more than you to take care of. So simmer down. Um, <clears throat> so this is a very compelling card. Like I, I love this. This is something that will take your mind off of worrying. Okay. So whatever that is. It could be reading gardening, just something. Or if you have no hobbies, maybe just listen to music and don't freak out, you know, or try cards or something like that. 
um, during the pandemic. I'm not much of a video game player, but oh, the days were just going on and on and on. And I didn't have a job, right? So it was like, okay, so the house is spotless. You know, I worked on my YouTube channel. Um, it's minus 40 outside, so I'm obviously not going outside. So I actually downloaded Candy Crush, you know, and I would just play that for a little while <clears throat> just to keep my mind like from freaking out about things, you know, so there's plenty of distractions out there. Try not to make them toxic ones. Um, if you do everything in moderation, okay, because that's very important because you only have one body. So anyway, relax, find something that you're passionate about that can distract you from stressing about like, where well, where's my thing already? I've said this before on this channel. Um, okay. The universe is not Amazon. Okay. It's not going to appear at your door in two days, even though that would be nice. All right. So we do have the page of earth here. There's something to be said about being distracted too. You know, if you're meditating or whatever it is, you could have, um, an epiphany of something to do. And this is the page of earth and receiving messages related to wealth and abundance. So, um, they're waiting for you to find some way to pay attention. It's like conversations with the universe are a two way thing. It's not all about you talking. You have to be able to receive messages. Have you ever talked to somebody? My new boss does this, starts talking louder over top of you and you're like, okay, well, you just totally didn't hear me. That's kind of what I'm seeing here with your relationship and your conversation with the universe. And they're kind of standing there. The page is like, are you through? Like, can I get a word in, you know? So... And it seems like messages like this come in when you're doing something else completely. Like if you are cooking or for me, if it's I'm walking Lacey, um, she's just sprawled out like nobody's business here. Like things just come in clarity, like listening to music or, you know, doing something different. So challenge yourself to find that, you guys. Um, and that saying, I like... It's trite, but it is already yours. You have to have that knowledge and trust that if you can think about something, you are able to create it. You're not getting these thoughts for nothing. You're not seeing images of things that are not achievable. People achieve them, okay? So you have the nine of water here and look at this. Just sort of stumbling across this great big treasure chest, you know, minding your own business, maybe going for a swim. And then, oh, look at this great big juicy diamond in the treasure chest. So it is in those moments where you lose yourself that you will find the universe. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, T-shirt. Should I like patent that or copyright that? It is in those moments when you lose yourself that you find the universe. Amazing. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm really sort of patting myself on the back and I don't do that often enough. I don't think so. Anyway, we'll let that go. Um, let's just have one more card here because this looks very interesting. I find all this advice very, very good for you guys. Like you can just stumble across things when you least expect them. So we have the messenger of air and I love these air cards. You know, if you notice like lots of tarot card decks, the swords cards, they're very aggressive, you know? So it's like really showing you that you can give your mind peace. Your mind can work in a state of peace. It doesn't have to be defending you. It doesn't have to be in an uproar. Okay, so you have the messenger of air here and she's listening quite patient, patiently. She's not ready with her sword to have some sort of witty repartee with the universe or with yourself or with somebody else. You know, it's just very everything in this reading is calm and sort of 
<sighs> zen like so you really do need to find your zen and i want to put this king of fire right at the front you know to find your passion in life and then life will feel passion for you man i'm on fire today so guys i'm gonna wrap it up love and light bye